So let's get into the uh, let's get into the album. Uh, what was the uh, first of all the title? Uh, explain the title to Black Coffee. Black Coffee. Black Coffee. My my, my whole thing. I, I I sit back and I did a lot of research, and I look at different ways that the indie artists, you know, get creative to promote and market yourself to make you stand out a little different from everybody else. So I look at different ways you can do that. Like you can do track show because a lot of times people can't afford to, you know, for, you know, bring a band all the time. But you can do a track show and they might have a budget for that. So I looked at, you know, people always, you know, all these coffee shops pop up. Starbucks alone has over sixteen thousand coffee shops worldwide by themselves. Then you got Big by B, got Badass, like a lot of coffee shops. So I figured, you know, then I also thought about women, the different colors of flavors women come in. So. I, you get intertwined into one minute you're talking about coffee and one minute you're talking about the different flavors women of color come in. I wanted that one, you know, women of color have their own theme song that's praising them. But in the same token, I wanted to create merchandise or a brand called Black Coffee where eventually, you know, I shoot the video and everything and then get my own merchandise into one of these coffee chef franchises. So when I go to New York to do a show, earlier that day, I can go to an upscale coffee shop, do a meet and greet, invite a few people to the show, then at night go do the show and I call it the Black Coffee Tour. Oh wow! Okay, all right. And you came up that you came up with that by yourself, huh? Yeah, most definitely. I was just doing a lot of research. So what I did, I did a press release, and uh, then I put the song out, and you know, let them know. You know, sent it. I did my research, got my database full of uh, coffee shops and stuff. Sent it out, and I got a lot of good response. And I'm going to shoot the video in February. I'm going to shoot the video for Black Coffee here in Atlanta, and then I'm going to release it. I'm going to release a single, a couple singles before I release the, uh, the full album. And um, we're going to take it from there. Right. Now, you said you didn't want to work for anyone else. Are you um, truly an independent artist or are you? Independent. 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 I want to stay that way. You want to stay? That was my next question. Did you want to sign with the major label? No, no. You want to no, stay strictly I, independent? Yeah, somebody's 19 to sign with some label. I just, me, I, you know, I like I like Vinny to do what I want to do when I want to do it, being creative. And then, in that case, you know, with labels, you sign with them. And then they, they make you do stuff, and then they don't work, they blame it on you. <laughs> you know? Right, right. With the, with, the, with the creation of the internet and different stuff, now you can reach people and from anywhere and buy your stuff and, and connect with them and stuff. So you can use the whole world, whereas if you're a, a major label, you sell a million, a million records, and you might get you might get lucky if you get ten thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars. If I sell ten thousand records, I get a hundred thousand dollars. I get a hundred thousand. You know, so it, you might not be as famous, but you're getting paid. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the beauty of uh, the internet. Because um, I think whereas before you probably needed a major label to get your stuff out there, now you can uh, pretty much do it all on your own. Yeah, you, you, you create your own audience and stuff. Before they guarded everything, you had to go through them just so you can get known. They controlled the radio stations and everything. Mm-hmm. Now there's so many internet and podcast radio stations. If you put the work in and connect with people like with me and you, I mean, you can do it because everybody got a follow. I, my philosophy is this right here: feel like you only had a hundred. Feel like you had a hundred, hundred listeners. To me, that's a hundred more people know about me that didn't know about. Me. Correct. Right. That's the way I look at it. Right. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, and you keep building. All right. So it was never your goal to, well, was it your goal to, when you got started, did you think that you had to, back in 97, did you think that you had to sign with the label to, to, uh, No, I didn't, I never, I never wanted to go that way. I, I just, I felt that I wanted to become very well known and wealthy of doing what I love doing, but doing it my way because I feel like if you're not, you know, a lot of labels don't want to sign you unless you're 15 anyway and you're dumb and 15 and you're older. It's harder to sign. They'll tell you you can't do this, but with, like I said, with the creation of the internet, if you create your own fan base, they can't nobody tell you what to do. You can do your own thing. You're making money without them. You don't, I, to me, I always tell people the best way to get a record deal is not to need one. <laughs> yeah. That makes, that's something to you. That's makes, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, mm-hmm. Like a wheel drop. So if you go to them... Yeah, because you go to them and you ain't got no leverage. You're gonna get pimped if they like you. And then you're gonna complain about they use you later on. But you go, but if they come to you and you making money anyway, then you got some leverage. Right, right. That's a, a good idea. I mean, that's. Uh... Oh yeah, but you know they ain't doing it like Barry Gordy did back in the day, walking through it. And you guys basically be established anyway before they touch you. Well, they don't call it the music business for nothing, right? Man. You're talking about that's what they call it. 
you want to survive in this, you got to take it as a business. It's fun when you first start off singing, but you got to take it as a business, especially when you don't have a big team behind you, putting millions of dollars behind you. You got to learn how to do a lot of stuff yourself, which is a good thing in a way. Yeah. I mean, it takes away a little bit from your performance, but at least you know how to do it in case one day you do get some people, like I'm building my team now. At least even when I hire somebody, I know what needs to be done and how it should be done. So can't nobody just put nothing over my head.